government is shutting down military bases all around the country? The perverse side of the American government is turning these military bases into concentration camps for all dark-skinned people. These plans for all dark-skinned people and those who openly oppose wickedness in the government, when fully implemented, will make the Holocaust look like child's play. You and your family must listen to this CD talk by the Honorable Yahweh Ben Yahweh over 25 years ago so that you will be aware of how to escape the concentration camps. Now, uh, the main reason I called you together tonight from Homestead, Fort Lauderdale especially, is a very important revelation. It's earth shaking. It clearly means that the civil liberties of all people in America have now been taken away. All civil civil liberties of all people of every color have now been officially, legally as they say, taken completely away. We're now living in a to to totalitarian state, a complete police state. It is now complete. Now those of you who do not know what this means, and I'm going to make it very clear to you right now, anyone who is without this knowledge, leaves yourself open to be terribly destroyed. The dark-skinned people of America's only hope is Yahweh. I'm saying not only the so-called black men of America, but all people of, with dark skin, whether they be Chinese, Japanese, Korean or otherwise, Mexican or otherwise, all dark-skinned people are in imminent danger. As of this minute, you will not hear any other so-called black leader in America standing up teaching you what I am revealing to you tonight. In the first place, none of them know. They will only know after tonight. This is the fulfillment of John 16, 13. That I will truly reveal to you and show you all things coming. Surely the Lord God, Yahweh, doeth nothing except he reveal his secrets unto his servants. Amos 3, 7. Yahweh has revealed it, made it known to me. It is an absolute governmental secret. There is no way that I can know what I'm telling you tonight. It is impossible according to the Pentagon, the military, and the government of America for me to know what I'm telling you tonight. Yet, I'm going to give you all the facts. And the subject is, and I didn't write these headlines, America orders concentration camps for blacks. America orders concentration camps for all dark-skinned people. Wake up and remember Yahweh, all dark-skinned people of America. The minority white people have some terrible plans. Mass detention facilities, otherwise known as concentration camps, are being set up at a number of major U.S. military installations on the secret orders of the White House and President Reagan. Ooh, they might not even let this out. Hear what I said? These are secret orders. This is not something that they are talking about setting up in the future. King Alfred and the Choice 
is now in effect. You don't hear me, do you? King Alfred that's in the yellow book in the back. And the choice is now in effect. We have learned that on April the 5th, 1984, this month, the White House issued a secret, highly classified National Security Decision Directive. Notice I'm quoting it like it is. I said a National Security Decision Directive which sets forth urgent instructions for the activation of 10 huge prison camps at key defense commands located across America. And I suppose you know where they are. <laughs> and if the fear of Yahweh does not enter your heart, you are insane. I am not warning you about what is coming. I'm telling you what it is. It's coming because you don't see the full evidence yet, but I'm going to show you the evidence in a moment. You've seen the evidence and don't even know it. Oh, you've seen it and heard it and don't even know it. And you're supposed to be wide awake. And so you know that my de mentally dead people definitely don't see. They already have 500,000, one half million young black brothers between the ages of 18 and 25 already locked away in the prisons of America. To keep them from fighting against the devil in what they consider the inevitable black and white race war which they look to initiate at any time. You know where the paramilitary groups have been training whites, Ku Klux Klan and Rifle Associ National Rifles Association and all these folk. And you know how white people in the, mil in the uh, military, National Guard and police forces have been doing riot training. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you don't know about that. You ought to. Seen in the news. They know what you don't know. That's why they're preparing for it. Because they're the ones in charge of making these things happen. I said, urgent instructions for the present activation. In other words, when you read King Alfred and the choice, it was projected as something that could happen in the event of an emergency. It is no longer, as of April the 5th, this month, it is no longer something that is being projected in the future that might occur. It is being activated. That means they all are being fixed up. Barbed wire tightened. All the plans to collect our people around the country is being made, all dark-skinned people, is being made to put you in concentration camps is already set, it's already started. They're fixing up 10 huge prison camps. Now, this minute, since then, the minority white man of America plans to pick off dark-skinned ethnic groups one at a time under different pretexts. It has been revealed that preparations are being set in motion for an unprecedented roundup of so-called aliens and security suspects from coast to coast. The trick and pretended primary goal of this vast police operation codenamed Rex 84, R-E-X 84. I checked the day and my black Police officers in the highest rankings across the country have no idea about this law. They're going to call you in. They're either going to fire you. They'll be firing you around the country. Or they're going to call you in and ask for your weapon. They're going to ask for your badge and your weapon. It's already starting to happen. You think it's just an isolated incident. They have already started, they've already been attacking every black public official nationwide. Busting him from their offices, whether he's a judge, a senator, a commissioner, or whatever he is. They are under attack, being busted out. 
set up for a crime. They create a crime. And induce you to fall into the trap with television. <laughs>